<laughs> so still young, but yeah, then I get bullied by the older guys, so don't uh. want to do that, you know. See, I'm the same age as the older guys and still get bullied by them. <laughs> Baby face. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just always going to be that There's a few of us way. in the world, eh? With what, that can faces. have... Oh, no, I'll have one for a while. Yeah, yeah you, you can blend in with facial hair and yeah, get away exactly, with it. Yeah, exactly, get away with a few things. Yeah, yeah. So how do you always start the show? Do you like go like, boom? We, we can. No, but awesome. we've, yeah. no, no, no we, we can do, yeah, a clap is great. No, but how do you sink. normally start? What's up, guys? We interrupt this episode to bring you something exciting from our partners at PokerBet. If you use code JUSTBLAMEJOSH50, sign up with PokerBet at the link in the description or the bio, enter your code and get a free 50 Rand to play around with on any bet of your choice. This is an exclusive deal to only 200 people. So go use that code, hit the link, sign up and have some fun with it. Thank you guys. We can do a podcast for, for an hour or so and then we turn off the cameras. Yeah, you know. And then we really do talk a podcast. Cock. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's, let's pop us in here. Correct yeah. me if I say anything wrong about your name because I tend to do that. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Storytime. Thank you so much for tuning in. And it is an absolute pleasure to be here today. I'm so happy to be back in studio. As you can see, we have a new feature. We will get it on a wide for you. Our new neon sign, Storytime with Joshua, has been added in. Thank you, Neon Feed. You guys are phenomenal. The sign is incredible. Lights up the entire room. You put a smile on my face. It was a birthday gift from my beautiful girlfriend and from you guys. So thank you guys so much for that. Today, we have Andre Hugo Fenter. Perfect. Up the up the on the yeah, very nice, yeah. very nice. Yes. Yeah. That's Do you say Hugo or Hugo? Um, in Afrikaans uh, is my name and like Andre Hugo. Hugo. Um, yeah. Yeah. But the, in, if you if you speak English, you can't say Hugo. It's like it's weird. It's so difficult. Like even um, the island rugby player Hugo Keenan, it's Hugo. It's yeah. Hugo Keenan. Ah. It'd be weird, eh? It would be, especially if he was there. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. So. Um, it's actually an interesting thing. So my dad is four brothers, oh. and um, he is the third oldest. Okay. So how it works in Afrikaans culture in the olden days? So um, I'm the first born of the, uh, children from the brothers. Oh, of everyone between the four brothers, I yeah, was yeah. the first like grandchild, mm. um, and my grandfather's name was Ihu. Um, but the issue is you can't, he couldn't name me Ihu because my older brother, his older brother didn't have a son yet. So how it normally works is the older no brother ways. gets preference and then he can name his son the name of the grandfather. So he decided, so his, my dad's name is Andre Gerarde, so he has, also has a double barrel. Okay. Um, so he decided to, to put his own and then my grandfather's name together. And then eventually no, my, my dad's older brother did get a, get a son, so he named him Ihu. So uh, he's Ihu. Yeah, he's just Ihu and, and, and I'm Andre Ihu. But I don't, I don't have a middle name, so I'm just one name. Oh, so you double barrel, not name. Yeah, name. with, a, with a dash in the middle. Okay. Mm. It's really funny because um, in matric, if you get like um, on your ID, it says uh, your full name. Yeah. And then when you like a student at Marty's, yeah. your student card says like your initials, yeah. and mine is A H, yeah, Fenter. So basically, it's Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So I would get a lot of trouble <laughs> for that, you know. Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. so, so in the trick, uh, this is actually funny. So now um, you get um, a certificate, or you know, you're finishing school. Yeah, like well whatever. done. You're yeah. smart enough to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got and one of those too. They read your initials and your surname. Yes. And um, they would go. Your vessels. <laughs> oh, Fender. Aww. And the entire school goes, Aww. Oh, and I like, like that. Bad, That's eh? brilliant. Mm. That's sick. Yeah, so that was quite bad. Jeez, so uh, you've, 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 you've had to carry the legacy of both names. Yeah. Yeah, my um, grandfather passed away when I was about two or three years old. Okay. Um, so I was still young. Okay. Um, so I didn't really know him. Um, but yeah. Just halfway. Yeah. Half legacy. And, and, and you, you come from, and I learned this from reading into a lot of different articles on your career this morning. You come from like a family of rugby. Your dad has 66 caps for South Africa. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. I think um, I don't really understand it that well. Um, oh. So I was born in 2001. Yeah. 
and that blows um, my mind that you yeah, were born in 2001 yeah, yeah. like yeah, that's very interesting jeez like um they say that there's going to be rude to everybody watching that's younger than in 18 or whatever yeah um but they said the last great generation was born in 2002 so everything UN. before that you in i'm in i just just <laughs> made it so. you in there there we go so um that was that was the era that did not grow up with smartphones and whatever i still had my first phone was uh like nokia there you go i was the last probably the last generation that had the nokias yeah and then grade six seven it was the blackberry era yep i'm getting off topic now but yeah, I was still speaking about my dad. But anyways, no, no, no. I love I, I yeah. love looking back at that because yeah. I had exactly the same upbringing 100%. of Nokia to BlackBerry, yes. and the Kardashians and everyone yeah. had a bloody back BlackBerry, yeah. and you had to use your thumb on that little yeah, that square thing. And I always it was, broke it. Was it was first the spinner ball. The one was the spinner ball. Then it, it was had the that square. First. The square was the modern version. Not the square. If you had the square, yeah. you were the shit. Yeah, that I and the flip, that. the one that flips open like yeah. this. <laughs> Just and the, the touch screen and the keyboard. Yeah, both. That you could choose. I remember really that. Nice. And then from there. Yeah, the girls like BBM. Yeah. Oh, and everyone's BBM names were like yeah. dollar sign. Yeah, squiggly. Chaka, chaka, chaka. Yeah. yeah, like hieroglyphics 100%. as the name. You're just bad, huh? Yeah. That's bad. I remember Mix It. I missed the Mix It era. Mix It was sick. No, I missed it. Eh? And a different contact from Mix It. You could set a different light color. In the corner would be. Yeah, 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 I remember that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be like, yeah, people that are keen, people that are not keen, <laughs> friends, not friends. Like, I remember I doing that. I completely missed the Mix It era. So I was, uh, yeah, I started with BBM. Yeah. Straight to BBM. Yeah, BBM straight was to great, mix, though. That was BBM was great. That's the worst. No, because so. Well, because I, I used to make captions, capital, small, capital, small, yeah. capital, small, capital. Oh. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, But that was trendy at the moment. Oh, it so. was in, eh? So, yeah. if you look back, it's not that weird. Well, if, if you weren't doing it, you were the weird yeah. one. Everyone was yeah. like, this guy doesn't know technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, doesn't know how to you use don't know the caps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, dude. I remember that. Being so, cool. um, I only recently got Facebook. Um, okay. So, I, I don't get, luckily, you're, I'm so glad. Um, you don't get like that old pop-ups of you posting things. Okay. And like that. Um, you, you you played it smart. Yeah, I, yeah. I just missed it. I yeah. Think. Uh, it yeah. was BBM, and then Instagram obviously, and then yeah. it, BBM died, and it's WhatsApp, and that's Straight. oh, and Snapchat. Okay. And Snapchat. Yeah, very interesting. Um, <laughs> but it's more in the northern hemisphere. Um, so my girlfriend, um, she was overseas. Um, for three years, oh. um, and they just use Snapchat. They yeah. don't have WhatsApp, really. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird, eh? It like, how do you because type? Uh, like, if you want to send a nice message. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. Sure. Now you have to <laughs> yeah. film it and then be like, so what I was saying was, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, why? Why do I have to do that about yeah, it? Yeah. It's bad, eh? yeah. it's, it, Like, and it it freaks me out as well in that. Snapchat is extremely invasive to the point where there's a feature that people know where you are all the time. Really? Yeah, there's, there's like a... A map. There's like I a remember, world map. I remember, I and remember. then like this oh, little really like weird. avatar version of you, you pops up. And it's like, oh, this person's like, you know, yeah. at fucking Bra House down the road. And you're but like, they, I don't want you to know yeah. that. Yeah. I think the point probably was that like all the basic people going overseas on holiday would be like, shit, dude. Look where I am. <laughs> Look where I am. Paris. Yes. Oh my, okay. Oh, and so. then I remember like, when it's like really getting bory, and then yep. you just take a photo of, of, of the wall or the ceiling and yeah. you just... And then type. Streaks. Yeah. Poetry. Yeah. yeah, I remember doing that. You were saying yeah. your dad. Oh, yeah. So, um, so when I was born in 2001, um, he retired mm. Uh, mm. from... Springbok Rugby, um, in those days, even now, the, I mean, what, what I can hear from the guys playing Springbok is, mm. is you in camp a lot and you're away from, from your families a lot. And, yeah. But one thing that I could pick up was um, they're very family based. So mm -hmm. um, your family is welcome to stay in the hotel. Mm. Uh, there's no problem with that and you can move in and out. And there's a big emphasis on family. Mm. Um, which helps a lot with 
morale and 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 staying focused and whatever yeah. you don't understand like just being able to even though still being in a hotel uh being a, a, able to take your mind off things yeah because if you're alone like our four week tours is like you um you in your you go to training back to your room meeting later so it's like you're away but you're not breaking away so you go on your phone yeah. and watch a series or whatever but you don't get your mind your off mind's of it. always there always switched and on. it's tiring sometimes yeah. and i think that's one of the reasons why i mean they've won two world cups is they um mm. they put emphasis on keeping your head clear and focus when you're there focus focus completely yeah. but being able to break away but in my dad's days i know for that was frowned upon that's really? not no that's not a, that wasn't a thing at all wow so for him it was quite tough being away um for long periods and mm. as soon as i was born he, he stopped playing internationally so he played okay. locally for the for the cheetahs um in bloom for another year and then he just completely retired okay yeah, yeah he so was he, his last he performed for the 1999 world cup yeah yeah 99 we we finished yeah. third right third, yeah. yeah we won bronze yes. yeah i think we've in since we've joined the world cups i think mm. we've achieved the medal at least at everyone except one yes i can't remember it was 2003 no 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 no. Uh, it was it yes, was i can't remember i know we've three dropped or out. seven yeah no seven we won seven we won yeah no man wait 95 we won 99 we were third 2003 is a blank age for me because i was two years old so there I don't you really go remember. yeah fuck what was i it was eight you should remember that. I was Come eight on. years old. I was eight years old. I don't Were you big that. in the rugby or not really? No. So. You're English? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Soti. Soti. Where are you from? Durbanville. Durbanville and you Soti. Which right? makes no sense, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Which school so, were you? So I went to a lot of different schools. Okay. But I did Jean Lowe. You know Jean Lowe? Yeah, my, my, um, my sister's. Oh, my girlfriend's little sister. Yes. She's in Jean Lowe. I went there for a year. And Two Afrikaans, they yeah. kick the shit out of me every day. Yeah. For year. <laughs> Is that why you're so big now? Literally, yeah, yeah, I had to make up for it somehow, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's fear, really. <laughs> um, but <laughs> it, was, um, it was a year of like, I was really, really badly bullied mm. for a year. But it, just, it also just wasn't my place and I was just yeah. a very shy kid. Yeah. And I thought that by joining the rugby team, I would be like in with a manner. Yeah. It did not go well. They'd like... <laughs> purposefully give me the ball and let yeah, me run so yeah. that they could panel Pump me you, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so I tried there didn't go well and then my second year of university a friend of mine my best friend and i made a bet that i would stay single for a year mm. and i started dating someone like the april of that year and he waited the entire year to come back to the same date and go for a beer at the same bar and sat me down and went cheers to you playing rugby and i went why would i why am i playing rugby yeah he goes, uh -uh, remember we had a deal no ways we had a deal and I was so like, he Shit. waited that long he and waited. he remembered he remembered i don't have that patience though sat me down until we're playing rugby so i played for Durbal. but when i say played yeah, i did the preseason yeah. did the preseason did at i did i i've never really had like a group of guy friends. I've always had like individual friends yeah, yeah. from different, like I've lived in a lot of different cities, went to a lot of different schools. I like moving around mm. a lot. I really enjoy it. So I've made a friend here, a friend there, a friend yeah. here. And playing rugby gives you that. It gives yeah. you that like yeah. just team of boys. Yeah. Um, so it felt really cool to be a part of something. I was so in over my head. I would get to the front. There's really big Afrikaans guy. What with position did you play? Flank. Oh, uh, obviously, yeah. Not because I play flank, because someone shouted flank. So uh, I went so flank. So he, literally. Where's so, flank? Yeah, I was like, where do I stand? It yeah. was that like that bad. But he had the clipboard and big guy with an with a, with a Enchi. And he's filling in and everyone lines up yeah, and you yeah. say position and you yeah. run on, position, run on. And I come up and I go, hi, sir. And he goes, ah, Engelsman. <laughs> That's the position. And I look back at my friend and I'm like, dude, what fucking position am I? He's like, just say flank, just say flank. So I go, a flank. He goes, ah, flank. Gone. 
writes flank. I get on the film, I do, what does flank do? I was in every set piece, yeah, yeah, all of them. Yeah. The line out, I was like, what do I do? That I just pick him up. I'm like, okay. Pick him up, he catches the ball and I'm standing Keep holding him. him. And he's like, dude, put me put down. Him down. I was like, shit, I'm sorry, dude. Put, like, <laughs> I just had no clue what was going on. Um, yeah, but you enjoy rugby now, eh? Oh, I you love got it. To know I love it. it. And, and I've, I've, I've always had a passion for it because mm. I've grown up in it because yeah. so much of my family is Afrikaans. I'm from Durbanville. Yeah. All my friends play it. So, so who in your family is English, though? My mom and my dad. Oh, both. But both sides have a 50-50 split parent kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, so the Afrikaans has kind of filtered through. Yeah. Like, kind of smaller and smaller and smaller. Mm. Um, like I was saying to you earlier, the set that I was just on, everyone's Afrikaans. Yeah. And it frustrates me that I don't understand it as well as I should. Uh, I think it's like um, for us going overseas as well to like, let's say Scotland or whatever, when they speak English to each other, you can't understand a word. Yep. It's just accent wise and I think you get used to it though. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like Afrikaans person speaks to English person, understand it completely. Afrikaans yeah. person speaks to another Afrikaans person Different gravy. out the window. I uh, understand yeah. nothing, mm. nothing. And then you put like a group of five yeah, then it's in trouble, eh? Oh my word! It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, you should put you at a braai feed in the middle. See, I can braai really well. Is it like? I'll put that on record. I can braai like a champion, <laughs> but it has to be in English. Yeah, yeah. You know, so like. <laughs> I think we should put like two, two, two Afrikaans guys, and then put you in the middle, and then just do it. Pour a few brandies and. Yeah, there we Eventually go. Eventually, you'll understand Afrikaans. I promise oh, you. Oh, as soon as I'm drinking brandy, I'll yeah. get it. Yeah, fluent. Yeah, yeah just yeah. for the period that you're drinking brandy. Though. <laughs> as soon as you start drinking the brandy, back to English, yeah. dude. Yeah, back Have to English. Have you seen those memes? Eh? Yeah, no, they're it's brilliant. Fun, yeah, yeah, it's but it's true. It's like the 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 more you immerse yourself into a culture, the better you start to understand. Yeah. So, like, what I picked up on the set now was not just language, but sense of humor and rhythm of speech. Mm is so different yeah. in in afrikaans has this beautiful way of speaking at a rhythm that the banter is so funny and you know so funny it differs from region to region really yeah wait so you you cape town cape town no i'm bloom oh you bloom so because you went to gray yeah i went to gray but is gray English. No, no, double, uh, double medium. Okay. So okay. They, I think it's a. F I think you have, we have. I'm gonna be wrong now. I think yeah. it's five Afrikaans classes and three English. Juice like. Yeah, so it's big. It's a big school. I think. Uh, again, I'm gonna be wrong. Yeah. Thousand three hundred uh, boys. Juice like. So it's big. Yeah. And it is. It is all boys, right? Yeah, all yeah, boys. Yeah. 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 Who's the sister school? So that's the interesting part. So we have. <laughs> If you look at it, we have two because mm. the school right next door is Unisi, which is just English, all okay. girls. And then there's another school, Urania, which is all uh. Afrikaans, but all girls as well. So it's like, it's, you know, you can both. Gray can sounds both. like a good. Yeah, it's, it's in the middle. Thing. Come on. Yeah. There's a fence splitting the two schools. Hey. Yeah. Where's everyone at break time at the fence? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's actually the funny part. It's not at all like that. So. Oh really? Yeah, no, yeah. And and so what I what I. When I was reading up on you, what I found really cool about your life this far. I mean. Sorry, cramp. Oh sorry. I came from training now. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to get? Do you need help? Do you no, it's fine. Like sorry. stand up and stretch. <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, but um, because your family's so rugby orientated. The school you went to is very rugby orientated. Yeah. And then you went to Stellenbosch, which is very rugby orientated. Yeah. So, so when, when did it kick in for you personally that like, mm. hey, dude, rugby? Um, to be honest, probably on, at the age of 12 only. Um, so I remember playing under nine C team or whatever. Yeah. Um, but like in saying that I've never, even though my dad and whatever, I've, he's mm. never like put pressure on me okay. towards sport or anything at all, uh, except academics. Okay. Um, even now, yeah, I can't get him off my case. Uh, really? Yeah, it's uh, intense, eh? Because you playing while yeah. studying? Yeah. What are you, what are you studying in? Uh, BCom Management Accounting at Mortis. Jeez, like. Yeah. So the funny thing is actually, um, 
I would, um, he would phone me, he phones me a lot, let's say every two days or whatever. That's cool. In the evenings or whatever. And yeah. um, on Friday, so we played Saturday, obviously, oh. and then Friday he phoned me. Um, he talked about it, he said, So is he a for more? I said, Yeah, I'm going to go like this. So for me, how far is he going to swat? Uh, when is he going to be a I said, I'm going to go to the next one. But yeah, I'm playing tomorrow. I yeah, yeah, yeah. no swat now. <laughs> why aren't you studying? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't I see books on the side of the field? <laughs> yeah. his, his worst thing seeing me do is playing Call of Duty or PlayStation. Oh, really? Yes, at school. He hated it. Really? So, um, we, so our house is um, on the left-hand side, and then we have like a small gym uh, oh. with a, like... Um, playroom area with like a ping pong table and my playstation is in there yeah and then so my dad's in a wheelchair and he has yeah. this electric wheelchair and um i would you know, um it was probably when i was like 13 or whatever yeah um so like still sneaking out to go play call of duty or whatever. yeah so i would go around to the game room and um on a let's say on a thursday evening or whatever i still have school the next day and I would play, and then from my parents' room, you can see if the the playroom's <laughs> lights are on. And then um, I would always remember just hearing his like electric chair, like zzz, and I know, oh, like shut off, they off, off, stole off, me. Off. Yeah, yeah. And then he would come in there. What the fuck, do you? They're like, yeah. um, uh, like yeah. committing like, a crime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he, he despises um, a Gaming. PlayStation. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, he would phone me even now, just checking up if I do my classes and whatever. Really? Yeah. But back to the rugby part, um, like um, under 10, not really into rugby. Okay. I played a lot of sport at schools. My, my mom forced me to do everything. So she was the one that said you have to try everything to okay. know what you like. Yeah, yeah. So I did cricket, rugby, swimming. Uh, she forced me, even though I hated swimming. Oh, you hate swimming? No, not anymore. But oh, okay. Then, yeah, so um, she forced me to do swimming. Uh, she said it was good for you. Yeah. So um, eventually going into under 13, under 12, uh, I really started enjoying rugby a lot. So um, played flank um, and then high school, then it really like started. Yeah. No, yeah. really enjoying it. And this, the most of my memories towards rugby at a schoolboy age is only from the high school. Mm. Um, under 14, started playing hooker, but still bouncing around between the two positions. And then um, ever since, just straight through to yeah. hooker. Um, and then in high school, I also played water polo. So Oh, choose like. Yeah, I think... That's a hard sport. It's eh? a lack of sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in the free state, because if you can swim, you're way ahead. Because yeah. not everybody can swim. So, yeah. Like yeah. playing water polo, and yeah. if you swim... Oh, you're like the G. Primary school level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're the guy. Yeah, you're the superhuman yeah. of that of that yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got, I, I got a lot of mates that did bishops and sacks. Oh, but their water polo is different. Jeez. Like, and they all, yeah. to this day, built like machines. They built like a triangle. I don't know if yes. you've ever seen like this. Yeah. And then... Because uh, they got wide shoulders, lats, yeah. big shoulders from and all the just go flipping like, and throwing. Oops. Yeah. Down like this. Slim waist. Yeah. Yeah. Have to have it. Yeah. yeah. Long back. So, yeah. I don't know if you know Jan Hendrik Vessels. He plays for the Bulls. Yes. Uh, okay. Same age group as me. Yes. So, we... I haven't met him personally, yeah, yeah, but no, but, he, is, but no. no, he is. So we best mates from school. So same trick oh, group. Uh, he played loose head. I played hooker. Um, played SA schools together, junior spring box, whatever. Um, Just the whole way through together. Yeah, eh? from from under twelve, from under ten. No, yeah. From and you 10 years both age. playing provincial for your country. That's Straight sick. Through. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, but the interesting part of that, you could also swim. So we would play water polo ah. together. As well. um, but both of us are not built like a triangle. We built like no. a uh, rectangle. So like this. You built like a fridge. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doosh. So yeah. We were those guys in the in the water polo team that didn't fit in lacquer. <laughs> but so we, we would play the positions that don't do a lot of swimming. So I was going to say. I would play either whole man and he would play, what's the one at the back? I think 
fetch her. Oh, I yeah, yeah. Really yeah, like God way, really like final man. So he defends the striker. Yes. And then the other one would play the striker position. Yes. And then halfway through, we'd switch. Because, but we won't play on the edges. Oh, because, no, because then yeah. you're doing all the damn swimming. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't work. No, so yeah. no, 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 so no. you would um, use your toes to like get into the speedos of the opponents and like kick them down. Yeah. Because you a lot heavier, so... Oh, so you work. can easily just yeah, kick yeah, off. Yeah. yeah. You can just so wrap just, your legs. Yeah, that's the only positions we played. Um, oh, it's actually a funny story. And then we, all the classes we, we had together, all the same subjects, we would sit next to each other. So it's actually an interesting story. So when we play the Bulls and both of us play... And we, oh, that's great. Yeah. I love that about it. Um, the last time we played against each other was the Bulls match now in December. Cape Town Stadium. He didn't play the one now at Loftus. Um, oh, no, no, no. You know, he... Uh, no, it was Grobis and Acker that played that match. So there was, there was the Bulls game that was in December at here Cape Town, at, no. at, at Cape Town. Mm. Then there was the Bulls game at Loftus recently yeah. where the attendance was just through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Anyways, let's go back to that game. <laughs> so the Cape Town game, um, we there was this one scrum, and he came on um, onto the field, and he looked at me, he smiled, and then um, went down for a scrum. But he's he's always been like cheeky, very cheeky. Yeah. Like just a little bit of irritation. Uh. -huh. And um, we scrummed, and as as we came up, he gave he gave me a kiss on my cheek, and I was like. <laughs> now the rest of the game, your head's going, what the fuck was that about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Why did you, why'd you do yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was, I was expecting like a fist or a kick because yeah. it's like banter between friends, it's so cute it's little fine. Little. And then he kissed me and I was like... You're like, oh. Oh, you got under your skin, eh? I was like... Mm. <laughs> nice. Now the rest of the game, yeah. I'm Come thinking on. about your lips. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I should yeah. be thinking about the damn game, yeah. yeah. Oh, That's so well played. Um, That's yeah. very well yeah. played. I'm going to oh, use so that next it's, time. Um, yeah, we're good friends. And um, to this day, uh, we uh, talk to him at least yeah. once every two weeks. Or so. oh, that's sick, man. Yeah, bye, like yeah. What, what would you say has been... Because I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand, like, shifting you between two different positions. What would you say is the fundamental purpose of either of them and why do you fit better at hooker? Uh... If I were to play flank, mm. I would have to play six. Mm. It's not tall enough okay. to jump. Oh, is it a height? I, could, I don't know. It, uh, I can't really say, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I just, eventually when you get to senior level, you have to find your position. Yeah. Except if you're Dion Free, then you can bounce around. Yep, um, play everything. Yeah, I'll just, yep. you know, just play whatever. Yep. Um, so, but I definitely would love to just to have something like being able to move to six. Mm, mm. Um, we played a match against Ulster last season in Belfast. Okay. And the hookers that were going to play that game was Skara and JJ. Um, I was a traveling player, but a non-playing. Yeah. And then um, Junior Pokomela got injured in the week. Yes. And then Dobo put me on the bench as flank. Um, which was fine because I was really looking. I played one Curry Cup game flank and yeah. another Toyota Challenge Cup game flank as well. Yeah. So I've played two, but it's it's not that much different if you play yeah. six, okay. um, because you're not really jumping. You're just you're basically doing a hooker's job. Fair. Just being okay. more loose, obviously. It's not too far away from no. what your usual headspace yeah. would be for the game. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think scrumming wise is a lot different obviously in the lineouts, whatever, but it's not in general play, it's the same position actually. Okay. Um, but anyways, and then um, against Ulster, I was on the bench as flank and then I think f seven minutes into the game, JJ got concussion. Scott Howard just came back from injury, so he couldn't play a full game. And then Scott went on and then just after half time, I had to go to hooker. I was really looking forward to playing flanks. So. Yeah. The odds were just not in my favor that yeah. day. Yeah, I had to, had to shift you over. Yeah. yeah, so I never got the chance to, there, to there, go on to flanks. There was a, I wanted to read it to you. I thought it was such a cool quote. But someone quoted in, uh, saying here, it, oh, it was Dobbo, saying, you can't really see his dad playing hooker. 
but it's the hooker version of his dad. Tough, high speed, high aggression, intense work rate, and very competitive. That's a dope quote. Yeah, ugh, um, it's nice reading all those things and mm. hearing it from, your, from the guy that coaches you. Mm. Um, it's something I really do appreciate, but um, it means nothing if it's just on the, mm. on the paper. Mm. So mm. Yeah, every weekend, you, there's a better quote that says, you're only as good as your last game. Yep. So, well, your last game was phenomenal. Thank so, you. So, hey. <laughs> I've watched it now a few times. Um, yeah, always, you can't be um, the Freda. Mm. You can never be the Freda. So, going over it, there's a lot of things that I would have done, would have wanted to do better. Yeah. So, um, but that's also what makes you an athlete. Yeah, you could so look at something that is never 99. You'll never be exactly. the perfect player ever. You can find something that's 99% complete. And I believe that automatically your head would go, okay, what, how do we get that yeah. 1%, you know? Yeah. Which is an athlete mentality, right? Yeah. yeah. We scored seven be, tries, could have been nine though. Yeah. What happened on the other two? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think you, at the end of the day, you have to be like that. Otherwise, you're never evolving. Mm -hmm. um, but there's so much still that I have to learn. It's scary. Really? Yeah, um, especially the last year, um, or the last two, two years or so. Mm, um, mm. Coming out of school, first year out of school, um, being able to play senior rugby. I made my debut at the 2020. Pro 14. The Rainbow Cup, yeah. Rainbow Cup. So I was still 19 years old. Um, and then my first game, I played with Kitsi and Franz Malherbe. I came on from Bongi. So like, imagine like, that. Yeah. Imagine. The previous year you're at school and you're watching um, these guys win the World Cup and then being able to play with them. That's insane. crazy. Yeah. So, um, where, was your, where was your headspace at sitting on the side of the field going like... That's the interesting part, eh? I can't really remember. Re oh, because you were probably so zoned. Yeah. And then you always... Um, when you go there, it's like... Coming out of school, being able to play um, at a competitive level and whatever, at schoolboy level, yeah. you, you always like think like you'll be fine because you're used to being fine. I see. And then training with the Stormers and then doing scrum uh, training, whatever, you feel good and whatever, and then you go into mm. the game and it's just like really different. Is, yeah. the, is, the, is the jump that big of like... <sighs> I think because you can't really get used to a game situation in training ever. It's impossible. Yeah. So um, there's a thing called game fitness and, and just being fit. It's yeah. not the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can have a look at it like I can be training for three weeks on the field but not playing a game. If you put me in a game and I have to play 40 or 60 or 70 minutes, it's going to be tough. Yeah. won't be able to okay. do that. So it's just... Okay. I don't know, the intensity and the, 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 the decision-making is just yeah. at a different that level. That much greater, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> that's the interesting part. Um, so the last three years, you learn and learn and learn. You keep learning. And it's so interesting. Um, you're never comfortable yeah. ever. You can't say that. But I mean, yeah. like you, you, your brain gets used to... Um, making quicker decisions and whatever. Really? So, you, so it's really nice, um, especially like feeling more comfortable than I was last year oh. um, on oh. the rugby field. That's something that I, I must say I really enjoy. Um, but speaking to, to guys like Franz and whatever, you always want to ask. Of course. How is it at the spring marks? Like, yeah, yeah. Is it like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ask him Franz, yes. So the other last year. Well, you can't shout it because then it's frowned Yeah, because everyone knows. Yeah. Like, hey, dude. Yeah. yeah. So um, last week we had a tough session on Tuesday. Oh. Um, like really tough for me. Probably yeah. was for some guys it wasn't, but whatever. What was it like fitness based or contact based? Like, um, what, was, what was hard about it? We had a forward split session where we, um, we do a lot of uh, live scrums and then mauling yeah. with like rubber bands and whatever. And then you have to run a shuttle and then That's repeat and repeat and repeat. And then we have a small break. And then we have a big team session. Um, Jeez, that's like two sessions. Yeah, 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 it's a normal day, but like Tuesdays are tough on the forwards, okay. especially with the live scrums. It takes a lot out of you. I don't think people really understand. Yeah. Uh, it takes yeah. a lot out of you. Yeah. Um, 
So, um, after that session, oh, it's Frans, I said to him, you speak much, huh? I said to him, how is it all about springbok? Is it just tougher or is it Marisella? He says, oh, bro. Um, <laughs> I tried to do the Frans voice. I, I love that, that's I can't, perfect. I can't, that's I, can't, perfect. I, can't, I can't do it. Anyways, he said, um, yeah, um, it's, um, he wouldn't say it's, Oh, okay, you said it's tougher. Oh, fuck. Really? No, he just said it's straight it's out. It's just okay? it, like that, what I was speaking about the, the decision making and the intensity and the oh. like. You said the thing is, the difference is the intensity is always at 100, not like at 90, then 95, then 100, then 95 or 90. It's like this. Red meter, eh? Yeah, yeah. you said it's quite tough. Um, yeah. So, guy, you, you, you always like to fish out and... Oh, of course. Just want to ask, how well, is Well, it, it helps yeah. you as well, right? Like, it kind of gives you perspective. So, so, I try to do the same maybe with my career. Yeah. You know, that I'm, that I'm trying to build and lucky yeah. enough to build. In that, like, you can take on a project that's this big mm -hmm. and you're grateful and you work hard yeah. and you enjoy it and you give it everything. And from my side, it's 100% of everything. Yeah. But you ask people that are doing projects this big, yeah. and you go, so what's that like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, exactly, it's yeah. this much, this much, this much more. Because at the end of the day, you won't play rugby as a South African if you don't want to play for the Springboks. Exactly. Box. Like, nobody does that. No. So, it's like when you're at school and you're under 16, and you look up to the first team players, like, Yes, but I'll just hello. Yeah, you're like, I've got to play like that. Yeah, yeah. And you ask them, or if you know someone, you just ask them, like, who is it? Or just, yes, who is it on the first team to spell? Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, um, uh. So, yeah, it's always like a. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, yeah I must say, um, especially for the younger hookers at the Stormers, it's really. And the younger props at the Stormers, it's yeah. really nice to be. Because Kitsi was with us for a long time, and then. We have Franz, Nietling, Brock Harris. We now got Lisa and Sti as well. It's sick, eh? Like the experience, if you look at Brock yeah. Harris. Uh, Brock, he, he just doesn't stop you see him this weekend? going. That was insane. Yeah, Lisa got up, injured after like smashing. four. Smashing, up, smash. I was yeah. like, this guy's not going to stop doing it. So Brock started the game and then he went off at like 55 or whatever. Yes. And then Lisa got injured like 61. Came and back. And then he came back. Um, yeah, he does it all. Champion, eh? eh? That's the, and we played the Sharks in December as well, and that was his 400th professional rugby game. So he played a lot of games, 100 plus for the for the Western Province, 100 plus for the Stormers, and I think he played a 150 plus for the Dragons Jeez, in Wales. Like. So. And the Sharks actually presented him with a jersey that said 400 on the back. That's sick. Yeah, cool guys. So he has been in a lot of scrums. Eh? Yeah. So when Brock four, talks, four. well, he's been in more than four hundred scrums in his life, because on average is more than one a game. No, way more. You yeah. can look at like yeah. average, let's say nine. So if you do that math and That's you a lot, eh? and you take the in the week scrum sessions, yeah, all the training, uh, yeah. No, it's a lot of scrums. Eh? He's a unit, eh? Um, in the beginning, um, so like when Brocky talks, you know. Just listen because yeah. he's done it a few times more than you. He knows what he's saying. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's like having Brock on board. And, yeah. Oh, that's incredible, man. You, you, you guys are taking on Ulster this weekend. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Congrats on the win this past weekend. Thank you. I haven't said congratulations. Sure. I was, we were there for it. We yeah, were yeah, yeah. Drinking and stories, having a jaw yeah. and everything. Yeah, so we, we, were, we were sending it lekker, but um, didn't congratulate. So, well done. Thank it was an incredible game. Um,